HDC Tribe, what's going on? So the uh, IRS, yeah, the IRS, I don't know if you remember, but they were buying hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition between May and June of this year. And everybody was just kind of wondering, what, what are you doing? Did they make like a new calculator gun? Hang on one second, sir. Let me type in my code to get this thing loaded. Internal Revenue Service purchased about $700,000 in ammunition over three months this year. It didn't really make that much sense, but now it does because the IRS is hiring 87,000 new agents. And there's a lot that goes into this, unfortunately. But let's just test this real quick. When you think of the IRS, what do you think of? I told Bill that if they move my desk one more time, then, then, I, then I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. And, and I told them. Some dude who's good at accounting, who comes and either looks at your books on your business, and you fucking hate it the entire time because it's an invasion of your privacy. Maybe you got kids running around, you're trying to cook dinner, and this dude's just looking through your crap. But now there is a whole new set of job responsibilities of an IRS agent. Let's just go over a few here. Work a minimum of 50 hours per week, which may include irregular hours and, and be on call 24 seven, including holidays and weekends. Well, I would fucking hate to do that job. Why do they need to be on call 24 seven? Oh, I forgot you guys are probably gonna start doing raids on grandmas who forgot to pay $20 that they earned from their little bake sale. Here's a good one. Maintain a level of fitness necessary to effectively respond to life-threatening situations on the job. Well, we're gonna take a look into this special unit of the IRS and we'll see if that aligns with who's in there right now. This is the best one by far. Carry a firearm and be willing to use deadly force if necessary. Look, no one likes to get audited, but I think it's probably pretty rare for a business owner, someone who cares about their life, to greet an IRS agent with a firearm. So why the fuck do you need a firearm? You're looking at papers. Uh, sir, it looks like you wrote off this strip club as a business expense. You mind explaining that? I'm sorry, but the English is not very good, so... Like that kind of stuff. So let's see what all this is about. And you already know what it's about. Biden raised the shit out of taxes, and he also made it to where you have to claim anything over $600. So you sell those tires off your old truck, the guy gives you 650 bucks, oh man, you must own a tire shop. But I think what we really need to do here is we need to take a deep dive into this investigative unit or special unit. The computer and calculator are the weapons of choice, tracking people who cheat because tax fraud is not a victimless crime. When you cheat the IRS, you're cheating everybody, um, your neighbors and family, because that money is used to run this country. Uh, excuse me, but uh, fuck you. How much of our tax dollars did this administration leave in Afghanistan? Would $85 billion sound Somewhat correct. And you're saying that somehow we're cheating our neighbor? Dude, just go put some more gel in your hair and listen to NSYNC. So then we get back to the part where in the job description of the IRS, it says that you have to be physically fit. Now I'm not shaming anyone here, but in this next clip, tell me if the woman on the right is physically fit. Uh, from my calculations, that would be a big negative. But anyways, maybe she's a good shot and that's why she got the job. Is she a good shot? Let me see. Oh, that would be a big fuck no. You're favoring the left. Make an adjustment. I mean, that's the only thing you got going for you because you're not chasing someone down a block because they forgot to do their deductions correctly. Now, while we're on the topic of shooting, this company came out with this article saying that the IRS is now carrying guns. And they put a picture of a nice IRS agent on there. Look at the grip that he has on this pistol. His hands look like a damn tarantula. How do I hold this, guys? Okay, ready. Oh my lord. Then we have a little video of this unit doing some shooting drills. And here's just a straight shot of it. This woman, all the way closest to us, is a big ass cheater. I imagine a lot of you have done shooting drills. There's usually a timer beep 
or a whistle, and you don't move until you hear that. Watch this. Look at her face. It's like you never shot a gun before. So I'd say if the IRS comes to your house right now and has a gun, I wouldn't be super worried. But you know, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like to understand anything in our government, we need someone who's currently doing it to explain it to us. And you know, say what you will about our government, but they are extremely secretive. But not the IRS. They got a YouTube channel and they put a video up of a woman who does this job talking about it. And before we start, I would just like to say that this woman looks like she carries a teddy bear backpack around. She just looks like she needs a hug. Just putting that out there. The special agent position uh, requires law enforcement skills as well as accounting skills, which differentiates it from um, the other jobs in the IRS. I would say a good candidate for this job um, should be somebody who likes excitement. Excitement? Y'all go through paperwork. The excitement that the IRS has is whether to use a yellow highlighter or a pink one. Or maybe both. Maybe you can make a rainbow. How are you saying someone who wants excitement should apply? Y'all must be just planning a shitload of raids if that's really your pickup line for people trying to get a job there. But you know, an important part of any job, it's not just the money, it's not even the fact that you even have a job, it's, is it rewarding? What do you get out of it? Do you go home and say, man, I really killed it today. I love my job. Let's see. Sometimes there are days where I work a lot of long hours, um, but at the end of the day, there is definitely a reward, um, the result of your work. For example, you've gathered the evidence that you need um, for your investigation, or you've arrested somebody and brought them into jail. So the only excitement you get from your job is putting people in jail. Are you sure it's not using like a calculator to figure out numbers and talk dollars and cents with someone who just doesn't give a fuck about you, AKA the homeowner or the business owner? You sure that's not what it is? Because it kind of seems like that's the whole fucking reason why the IRS exists or else nobody would do the job. But no, there's a new breed of IRS agent. And that new breed is people who can't hold a gun right, who can't shoot, who aren't physically fit, and who thinks working at the IRS is exciting. We're just making progress as a country right now, aren't we? <laughs> but you know, due to a lot of research that I've done on this, I kind of figured out why this whole thing is happening the way it is and you know, why they're giving IRS agents guns. Y'all remember one of the worst mass shootings ever in America during a Jason Aldean concert in Las Vegas? The guy who did the shooting, he worked for the IRS. That's right, we have now received confirmation that Sack's work history includes stints with the U.S. Post Office and the IRS. According to the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, which tracks government employee work history. So maybe y'all should police your own employees with the guns and the ammo that you bought before coming after everyone else. Because someone who worked for your company committed one of the worst mass shootings known to man. No. Sorry, the IRS is not a company, it's a fucking government agency, but still, you get my point. So let me just break this down to brass tacks because we're talking IRS terms here. This one's gonna sting for anyone who's in the IRS and who's in the government or currently in the administration. That sucks ass. Y'all left $85 billion of our equipment in Afghanistan. Not yours, ours. We paid for it. Have we seen one apology yet? Hey guys, we fucked up. We pulled all of our troops out before we got our equipment out. And now if the Taliban was a person in the United States, they'd be one of the richest people in the United States. But no, it's all good. We don't have to say anything about it. We can just make excuses. Well, most of America says fuck you for that. But since y'all are just really tightening down on America on taxes and tax money that we give you, why don't we do this? Y'all left 85 billion of our tax dollars in Afghanistan. There are 144 million tax paying adults in the United States. If we divide those numbers, that's $590. So here's what I'd like. I would like a handwritten note 
from Joe Biden. And I wanted to say, we are sorry, taxpaying American, who we work for, who pays our salaries. We are sorry for leaving your equipment in Afghanistan and wasting your money. Here is a $590.20 check for your share that was left in Afghanistan. I'll be waiting for it, but until then, you can shove all this IRS stuff right up your asses.